Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the apocalypse. Who would have thought this shit would end like this? All you Nancys out there worried about a damn flu. Coronavirus, named after a beer and a shitty beer at that. We should be dying from a zombie apocalypse or something like that. Anyhow, I do have a problem with how some of y'all have failed to prep for this apocalypse or how some of you are trying to prep for this apocalypse. First of all, all you dumbasses that went to Target, Walmart, Costco, bought up all the water, kudos, well played. The rest of you who just bought all the damn toilet paper and hand sanitizer, you guys are gonna die. I hate to break it to you like that, but you ain't cut out. Let me give you a couple of apocalypse facts. Cal and Karen have 60 rolls of toilet paper and I have a Glock. You know what that means? It means I have 60 rolls of toilet paper and a Glock. Kyle and Karen ain't got shit, cause Kyle is in pansy ass. He ain't prepared for the apocalypse. He should be serving Sunday brunch, making fucking quiche or something. He ain't ready for the apocalypse. He should be driving his kids to fucking ballet practice. What he shouldn't be doing is prepping for the apocalypse. Maybe he should send Karen out prepping for the apocalypse. She might have done a better job. I tell you who wasn't prepared. Kyle, my fucker gonna die. Next, if you want to survive the apocalypse, you need a crew, like a gang. But not the Crips or Bloods or anything like that. I'm talking like a righteous clique of preppers who could take you under their wing. But you gotta have something to offer them. You gotta have skills. I have skills. Martial arts skills. I can cook. Taxidermy. Baking. Origami. Crochet. Erotic massage. I can make them little teppanyaki volcanoes and shit. I can do a whole lot of stuff for this apocalypse. You know who can't do any of that shit? Pansy ass Kyle with his 85 rolls of charm and extra soft. F Kyle. Anyway, not to get too off point, but we all know Kyle's gonna die. Stand by for another tip. Alright, next tip I have. Get yourself. Uh, come here. Ooh, jeez. Get yourself a little dog. Dogs are great for the apocalypse. Petting a dog just five minutes a day will bring down your stress, reduce your chance of heart attack. And guess what? Bernie here is edible. And she's like 90% protein. She'll fit in a six quart crock pot. Little cumin, coriander, chopped onions, carrots, cilantro, watercress, radish, I don't know. But anyway, oh, Bernie's here. Look, say hi, say hi, Bernie. Mm. Bernie don't like being on video. But seriously, don't eat your pets. Look at Bernie. Look at that. Mm. Daddy loves you. All right, let's go. Anyhow, the only type of apocalypse we have going on right now is apocalypse of stupidity. You don't need to be telling your kids how they're gonna die of the fucking flu. Have them wash their hands, have them take care, have them do the precautions, use a little Purell, but have some common sense for the kids. Anywho, until then, when the apocalypse is over, I will see you all on the other side.